there's an error that's cropping up with some of the students this semester, and that is when they build, they get a type or namespace name app could not be found. And this is primarily on the PC side. Um, this is a, a reference error. Remember that over here in our Solution Explorer, we have four projects going on. One is our Xamarin Forms project, which has our shared code and our shared interface. And then we have a project, in this case, for each of the three platforms. And each of these platforms need to reference the Xamarin Forms, and that's where this error is coming from. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a minute. Before we go there, let me show you a couple of things you always want to check uh, to be when you're troubleshooting Xamarin. One is you want to go to your project and go to the Manage NuGet Packages. And you want to make sure you have the most recent packages installed. So in this case, the Xamarin Forms, I have 4.1.0.5 something. The most recent is 4.2.0. So I want to basically upload this new version and update it. So I'm going to click on Xamarin Forms and I'm going to click the Update button. And it asks me to verify that I want to do that and accept the license. And we can see the progress happening down here. And when that's done, I want to make sure I do the others as well. So Xamarin Essentials, I'm going to update that from 1.1 to 1.3.1. And it gives me a little README file. I'm going to go back to my NuGet uh, package. And I want to do the .NET Core. Okay, and I can, once that's done, I can close my NuGet package manager. I'm going to close this little README file. And here's my uh, main page XAML. This was a file submitted by a student. So their main page XAML, and then the code behind uh, was actually developing the interface with some code. So um, I need to fix these three errors. Not getting a bunch of warnings here as well. Uh, these warnings are largely maybe because the NuGet package was uh, not the most recent. Or in the case of the iOS stuff, I don't have my Mac up and running, so it can't build the iOS package at this point. But I'm going to go back to Build and Menu and just choose Rebuild. And I think now some of those warnings will go away. You know, so I'm basically just getting the warnings on a uh, reference component cannot be found, we have our namespace app can't be found, and then the iOS errors. So let's fix the references. So what I want to do is go into each one of the platforms. So I'm going to go to Android. I'm going to click on References and, and expand that. And here's the reference to State Capitals 1. That's the name of my project. That's referencing the Xamarin Forms project. But notice there's a little warning error. There's something wrong with that link. So I'm just going to right click on it. I'm going to remove it. And then I'm going to reestablish that. So I'm going to right click on References, choose Add Reference. And in the Projects area, I'm going to put a check mark in front of State Capitals 1. Okay, this is the very first one there is my Xamarin Forms. And then I'm going to say OK. I want to do the same thing for the other platforms. So iOS, expand references, remove the state capitals, and add a reference. And then finally, the UWP. Remove the bad reference and add, re add the reference. Now, why those are coming up with bad links, I am not sure. I think it may be just a bug inside of the most recent build of Xamarin. But those now are all fixed. I'm going to go back and rebuild. And you can watch this area down below here. There's some messages that shows the progress. When it's done building, those three errors should go away. OK, 
Okay, so it says rebuild all succeeded. And if I scroll up here to the top, I have zero errors. Those errors went. The warnings are not critical. They will not keep your project from running. Um, in this case, it's referencing maybe some older NuGet package stuff. I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to make the Android the startup package. And I'm going to choose my uh, emulator I want to use. So I'm using a Samsung Galaxy 9 with Android 8.1 operating system. However, something else you should check when you're using the emulators. I'm going to right click on the Android and choose properties. And it shows my Android version that I'm targeting. And I'm targeting 9.0, but my emulator is 8.1. These should be compatible or the target should be less than the emulator OS. So I'm going to change this to 8.1. I'm going to close the Android information file and now I'm ready to run my project. So I'm debugging any CPU for my Android side and the emulator is going to be the Samsung Galaxy 9 Android 8.1 that I set up. So we'll, we'll build it and deploy it. So again, I'm going to watch this area down here at the bottom on the PC. And this area over here shows me that it's actually building the project. It's going to start up the emulator if it's not already started. In my case, the emulator is started. So I'm going to pop open that emulator. And again, it's now deploying to the Galaxy S9. I'm seeing my progress down here. And here then is the project running in the emulator. I get a label and a button. This was created in the C-sharp code rather than the XAML. Click the button, it works. It goes to South Mountain Community College. Click it again, I get Go Cougars. And it toggles between those two. So that is now working. I'm going to stop the debugging. So that is how you fix the error when it can't find the namespace app. It is traditionally a reference error back to the Xamarin Forms project.